It's the same thing that Uganda did it's the same runs they scored. So Nigeria should believe that they can do the job as well. Rose medal match, it's a medal match, the first of its kind. You don't have uh, to play half-heartedly here. Yeah, you put your body on the line and you get the rewards. Yeah, it's all or nothing right now. So every team has to give their best. Uh, I don't know who's going to bowl the final two overs for the Ugandans, but that is also going to be key, especially the 19th over. Big shot. Consa Weko running around it, and then she misfields. Gives her four runs, the four runs that they needed on the last ball of the over. Nigeria will celebrate. Uganda have their hands on their heads. Wow, this is going down to the wire. Ten required from 12 balls now. Sam Wilton offer the captain there, blessing at him, throws her bad at it. Consi got to the ball, but it, at the last minute, it spun away from her. You can see their celebrations in the Nigerian camp. The heartbreak is on for someone. I don't know who it will be, but uh, there will be 10 runs required from 12 balls for Nigeria. Lona Anyait, given the responsibility of bowling the all important 19th over, her office bowling into Lucky Paiti. Lucky Paiti can hit a range ball if she can get under one of those. I'm sure she will want to go big. The two must take this home. Just 10 needed, 10 runs of their lives to pick up a medal. And uh, bless the team, can call it a day as a legend, a proper legend. Yes, she's a legend. She's been playing and been on the circuit since 2010. Proper legend with a medal as she will be initiated into the technical team, into the coaching uh, team of the female Yellow Greens. Lucky Paiti, the future of Nigerian cricket against the future of Ugandan cricket, Lona Nyait. It's in the air. Half chance missed by the Ugandans. Gloria Bukolo was never going to be diving for that one. And that's a keeper's catch. Uh, there was no chance for Gloria because uh, the leading aids there are just Sky, uh, Kevin Awino. We just put in a dive, it was far from her. Strand. Big wicket blessing, a team must take a walk. Thinnest of ages. The game continues to shift and change favor. Lona Nyait, the flavor girl for Uganda for now. Yeah, blessing a team, feeling that one and gets through it, gets further of an age, was way away from her. Kevin Awino with the catching, and I think Uganda will be happy with the dot ball more importantly than the wickets. And that means also a new batter will be on strike, Shola at the Kunle. That's too wide, too much width there from Lona Anyait. Blessing had just struck a boundary off the width from the previous over. So she needs to be very, very careful. Just try and tuck them in. Three good balls for Uganda win them the gold medal. Nine runs is what the Nigerians require. It's not the gold medal. The bronze medal. <laughs> the Ugandans at home will think this is the final. <laughs> and you could be in trouble for giving false information. Like one time when the Uganda cranes almost qualified for the Africa Cup of Nations. And the FIFA referee must say they are in trouble with the giving Ugandans uh, news that they had to mute the celebrations after another 40 minutes with the cranes not making it to the AFCON. No protection on the offside for Lona, so that means she has to try and make sure she's working uh, within those limits, bowling wicket to wicket. No. Dot ball to start off things there from uh, Shola at the Kunle. Shola needs to just find a way of getting Lucky Paiti on strike. Lucky Paiti is the one who can strike the ball. I think for me, if she touches and goes, Uganda haven't read the trick. Just play on the mid on here, on the on side. Plenty of runs. Again, they are swing and a miss. Ill advised from uh, uh, her body is so far away from the ball. Easy picking there for Lona Anya to just uh, dry up things. Uganda going back into this one as Nigeria needs six runs per over back. Hit straight, hit down the ground. 
הכל is one. Eight from seven balls. Final ball to Lucky Paiti. Lucky Paiti wants a single here. I don't know if Uganda know the name of the game. Is to deny his single and have a Shola at the Kunle on strike for the last over with the game that has lived up to the billing. He's gone down to the wire. Two lightweights going pound for pound. She connects. Where does it go? Good pick up from uh, the boundary. And more importantly, she stays on strike. Seven of six with the final over coming up of this bronze medal contest. Low scoring three at Nigeria, 70 for seven. Uh, but for now, they'll need seven runs from six balls. The responsibility to bowl that final over is going to be given to Rita Musamali. She's given away 11 from three. I'll tell you that... Uh, I think you can hear the sound of uh, some hearts beating here at the Achimota ground, the 13th edition of the African Games, the bronze medal contest, a proper pound for pound fight. Seven runs from six balls is what we need. The DJ, clearly Ugandan, plays Amasavugocha. These fights are very oily and uh, very hot. Yes, this is how the game is going. It is burning out there. It's burning out there in the middle for the guys doing the job. Uganda protecting and defending in the last over. A boundary here will give a Nigeria lot of hope. A wicket for Uganda. Ooh, that will be gold dust. Yeah, I can't say we're taking our time to just get the field right. Here we go, seven from six. Hit over the top. That's the boundary they required of the first ball. I said it and it's happened. 74 now. Five balls left. Offer there from uh, Rita Musamali, and she picks the boundary that they need straight over the captain's head at point. Now the Nigerians start to believe because they need three runs from five balls. Just three. Come on, Nigeria. Ah, and I love Paiti. She gets into Rita's head there with some mind games. Uh. Uh, some sportsmanship going on out there in the middle. If you're Nigerian, get your camera, place the record on the TV, on the channel. This is the history here to be written. Another shot. Is this the game set and match? Yes! Victory for the Nigerians! They beat Uganda and look at those celebrations, uh, naked celebrations. Uh, they were up in victory with the men yellow greens in the building. It's the big huddle from the Nigerians. Lucky Paiti on a lucky day will kill off any team and she's killed off Uganda as Nigeria win by three wickets. Yeah, with ice in her veins, Lucky Paiti comes up with the goods uh, for the female yellow greens. Back-to-back -back boundaries for her to deflate the Ugandans. Nigeria winning this bronze medal match by three wickets. And the celebrations will begin all the way in Lagos and down to Abuja for 200.